example. Oops. Nash Barons. Master Mark Angel. I think I got a foil in the first box. Torment of Hellfire. I think again, actually. And foil harmonic sliver. See, survive their night. Oops. Came in a generic kind of order anyway. Rally the Peasants. Slither Blade. Strategic Planning. Dark Withering. Epicure Blood. Swift Kicked. Smash the Smithereens. I remember playing that one. Hooting Mandrels. Ape is another one you definitely don't see a whole lot of. It's more like in the older sets, it seems like. Backwood Survivalist. Roisin Minderer. Might be saying that wrong, but. Amalari Sphere. And Crufix. First got it in this one. I think the last one I wound up getting. What was it? The Red God and. Oh, man. Yeah. I have to look back at it and maybe do a video and showing you just what I opened in that one. Just go through like all the the rares and foils and stuff on that one. But I see Deadly Tempest on that one and the rare, uh, foil, I'm sorry, is Gleeful Sabotage. Mostly just the harp. So far enough in like super great. I think in the other one, the big money card in that one was a Mana Crypt. Um... I think they're sitting around, well, at the time, was about 140 145 So, it's not too bad. A lot of several 5 and 8 10 $15 cards, but uh, I'll have to go through and tally these up. I'm not sure what I'm at now on these, but we'll see. Eyes in the Skies. Seal of Cleansing. Benthic Giant. Ninja of the Deep Hours. Alley Strangler, filled with fright. It's almost comical art on that one. At least his facial expression, facial expression. Valley Dasher, Swordworks Brawler, Beast Breaker of Balagid. I used to like these. Um, I played it the hard way though uh, before I. Started playing a lot of man ramp. I used to just uh, basically hard cast those, so it would take forever to get a lot of those uh, ramped up to be any good. There's like three or four of the of those that were actually really good. The one green one that was was it an elephant token generator? That was probably my favorite one. It's the one I probably played the most of. So, gift of paradise, coiling oracle, sandstone oracle. Karen Wanderer, Creepy Art, Dorn Pouncer, I'm starting to get these like crazy now that I don't need them anymore, my poor failed kitty cat deck, and Sundial the Infinite Foil, roll with M12. Let's see, Effort Protector, Death Bearer Paladin, Call to Heal, Bewilder, or Bewilder, Blighted Bat, Hired Blade, Act on Impulse, Handwear Lancer, Briarhorn, it's a pretty cool art, Roots, Goblin Death Raiders, Cross and Verge, Actually, don't think I have this actually. Ninja Destiny used to be one of my favorite white cards back in the day. I think it used to be crazy expensive. Now it's probably like a couple bucks. I have to look it up, see if it's actually gained back some of its value or anything like that too. But I had a lot of fun with that card actually. Mizix's Mastery, 
And the foil is Harold of Leshrac, Leshark, Leshrac. I think it's one of the one of the few cards I've got in here that's from one of the older sets that's actually foil. <clears throat> Let's see, isolation zone, Great Horn, Krushok, oops, Water Courser, Portent, Doom Dissenter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever paid attention to that art. Grotesque mutation, Blast Firebolt. Very expensive uh, for red, anyway. And crop casher, wild mongrel, explosive vegetation. It's good for deck thinning. Campaign of vengeance. Looks like Cathodian. Cathodian. It's kind of weird. Bloom tender. Was it? Evening Tide, Morning Tide, one of the two. I think it's Evening Tide. Or even Tide, I'm sorry. Torment of Hellfire. I think it's like the, what, second or third one now? Come on, guys. And Puka's Mischief. I believe that's Shadow More. And last pack. Let's hope for something good. Block hasn't been all that great. But we got the Ellis Norn and maybe the Angelic Destiny. A couple of the others. Uh, the, um... I don't know. Actually, I don't know if they even have Planeswalkers in it. set. I'll have to look into that, too. Let's see. Soulmender. Pressure Point. Clutch of Currents. Diminish. Dune Beetle. Walking Corpse. Proud's Favor. Rubble Belt Maka. Time to Feed. Crop Rotation. Warden of the Eye. Iron Tread Crusher, Thieving Magpie. Oh, and Ella Elish. Too bad you're not foil, but we'll take you regardless. And an Iron Mirror for the foil. So I noticed there's a lot of cards that were in this set, um, different colors, different rarities that weren't even in the other box. But in this box here specifically, I would see multiple copies of it, which I think is really weird. Uh, I haven't actually looked at the full list of cards, but it seems the the sorting they, they do on these is really, really unusual, at least from what I'm used to. Um, usually you get like one of each, maybe not necessarily on the rares or uh, mythics or anything like that, but it just seems really uh, a lot more random too. So, but we'll probably buy, we'll have to probably try to find some. Most of the stores around here are actually sold out. I actually bought two at the time. I wish I'd bought the other two that they had. Um... But I don't want to be too great. I just want to leave a few for other people uh, to get too. So, but as soon as I, feel like I can find more boxes of those to open or any of the uh, modern sets or anything like that, I got a buddy. He's got a few of just about every modern set or any limited set. A lot of those he won as prize support, and we'll see if we can't uh, get a few from those uh, from him and open those up. And if y'all like to see those, uh, Leave a comment on what set you'd like to see me open. Uh, either uh, fat packs, boosters, anything like that. Um, and we'll go from there. So be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, uh, and subscribe. And hit that share button, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.